Welcome back to our part 4 of Laravel Live Wire Crude. Our last part, we make our edit function so we can able to edit our data into our, our input fields. You see, all is working fine. So in this part, I will work on the update function and the delete function. So let's get started. Let's go back to the code and inside here inside our 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 this file our object clean file here we do have one function there right which is this update function here so i will make this function into inside our our inside inside the component here just open the student code component here come down here but what you need to do let's create create a one new function called update okay public function update okay so inside this update here i will pass my everything here i'll pass data from here okay so what i need inside here is it's all it's you know this thing this thing is similar with uh the create create function here it's similar with this one okay so i will try to, I, I copy this just try to copy what this thing you copy it copy and let's come here let's make one variable call update student Update student. Update student. This is gonna be update student. Then it was to student model. Find or fail. Okay, you can see. Find or fail with this data. Okay. So I will put this data inside this. I will use this one, okay? This data, okay? So let's copy this. No, wait. Before I will copy this first, let's close this thing first. And inside down here, I will use the same variable here. Update, update student variable equals to. No. Where is this? Okay, you, you use here update update function here. This update update function and you use that array. Then I pass this data that I, I collect from here. You see? So from the insert, then I pass this this data also into this update update function here. Okay. So inside this this uh, inside this find or fail method here. I will pass this thing here. Just to copy this. Copy and come here inside here. Just try to paste it here. That's what we need here. Okay. And then, then when we insert after insert some, let's try to uh, after insert, let's try to refresh our page. Okay. I will use this thing to reset the everything to go to normal. This is gonna be here. Okay, after this. Okay, let's pass this thing here. That's it. Then I will call this thing to false. Where is it? The edit. I will call this thing. So false. Come here, call it false. False. You see? Boom. So now let's try to, to update our, our data and see if it will work or not. So you see here we have let me refresh my page. You see, we have error to this. Okay. Come.
from here and it has to strengthen this it should be yeah 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 it should work sorry I didn't close my tab here so now it will work <coughs> okay now it's working now let's try to edit this allergy let's add, edit this allergy edit this allergy edit and we have allergies data here let me try to change the name to allergy song for. okay then edit update Updated successfully, you see, you see the name updated successfully here. Now we have allergy song call. You see how easy is this and how cool is it? And you see the update time is one second ago. You see, update time is one second ago, and I can able to update it again. Then I take it back to allergy singer. Okay? And update <coughs> you see updated successfully and update that one second ago and now let's uh, let's let's work on the uh, let me check whether uh, we still have time okay I will stop the video here and the next video I will work on the delayed functionality and the validation and the validation functionality okay for example if I click create here without any data I will have error you see I will have error so let's work with the validation the next video okay so stay tuned if you have any query or any comment that you would like to give you see we have the error here okay so see you in the next video